What is up, ladies and gentlemen? CJ the Cheese DJ here, and we're back with another Jurassic World Evolution 2 episode, and we're on the game campaign number two. So uh, we finished the last one, and we're in Washington State at the moment. So we have to establish an operational facility containing the following, an arrival point, a control center, and a backup generator. Now, we've currently got two Ceratosauruses knocked out here as well. No, sorry, not Ceratosauruses, Carnos. So this is Carnotaurus is knocked out. We've got one here, and as you can see, the sunlight is slowly coming over. Lighting up this big beastie boy. Look at that. Slightly drowsy, nonetheless, looking absolutely incredible. Is it breathing? Yeah, you can see its chest moving. It's a bit uh it's a bit funky here when it, it kind of just has like it gets like a collapsed lung. But that's cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and build the operational facility. So we need to go ahead and get an arrival point. Now I have no idea where we're supposed to put this. We don't really have that big of a building area here, so I guess. What was that one? Was that the control center? Arrival point? Alright, so I guess we just build an arrival point, like, what, we'll go down this side, I guess, and just chuck it here. Let's see how this goes. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I don't know. We'll see. And then we needed, what, an arrival point, a control center, which we can just chuck down, I guess, here. I kind of don't like, is there a way to snap this? Oh, yeah, toggle angle snap. There we go. That's a bit better, although it's not angled properly now. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. And what else did we need? A backup generator to power everything. So this bad boy... Uh, where do we want this to go? Probably at the back here, right? Okay, and now we need a path. But the thing is, where are we connecting the path to? Do we just need... Is it just need to be like a random path? Just chilling? Is that why? Is that better? This path doesn't lead anywhere, but sure, we'll take it, I guess. Pathway? Nope. <laughs> Not bad if I do okay, so now we need to construct an operational response facility. Which I'm assuming is this one, yeah. So this is the same one as the one that we built last campaign episode thingy-majiggy bit. Although, okay, so that's the arrival points. So that's where all our staff and everything come in. And this is the one that has the ranger teams. Alright, that's all done. Alright, so the Carnos are still asleep temporarily. We've got two of them here. There's that one there. And we've got another big boy over here. What, six minutes till they wake up? Although this one looks like it's dying. Oh no, its health is at 100% now. I'm pretty sure its health said it was like 60%. Maybe I was just imagining things. What is that? What does the crown mean? King of the world? They do look pretty sick. We need to get the dinosaurs into new holding enclosures. The ones we've already captured. Yep, that's right. And we'll want them awake and as comfortable as possible. So, are we just putting them in a random enclosure? Is that is that what's going on? I just have to fix the enclosures up, I guess. Fences, but do we not have a different type of fence? Is that it? Oh, hold on. Let's turn the replace on and we should be able to just build that. No, it doesn't want to let me. You don't want to let me replace the fence? All right, I guess we just... Do I just demolish everything? Maybe that's the way to go. Maybe we just demolish that, demolish that, demolish that. I mean, that should work, right? I guess. I don't know. Let's... Do they have to be in their own pens? Oh, no, here we go. Adapt or clean them to properly house dinos. Okay. So let's just get rid of all these broken ones. There we go. And just get rid of that and that. And that should be okay. All right. Now we can do the gates. Where are the gates, gates, gates? Boom, boom. I don't know why it does that for. Too close to dinosaur. Okay, rip. Boom. How's that? Yeah, we happy with that? Alright, cool. And we'll just snap this one straight across to here. And I believe... Oh no, we got a little bit of a pathway here. Let's just do that. And then we can demolish this. You know what? I'm going to demolish that. And we'll demolish this bit as well. And I'll just... I'll just extend it out for him. We'll be a nice... 
generous park owner and... There we go. Now they have plenty of room to run around. Well, I mean, plenty, I say, but, you know, they're, they're carnos. We, we don't actually know how much room they need yet. Uh, we also need a gate in here somewhere, so let's get one of those down. That'll do there. And then I think we need a road as well to the gate, maybe, like that. Okay. And safely enclosed. How do I wake them up? Do I just hit transport? I think if I transport them... I'm pretty sure that wakes them up, so let's speed that up. We've got a ranger team ready. We do need to scan them. Uh, they do appear to be fully enclosed. Let's demolish that part as well, so they have a little bit more space. I mean, it's not the nicest little enclosure, but I don't think we're going to be here for very long, based off how quick that first one was. I will, however, give them a little bit extra water. They do look like they need a bit more water. Oh! Oh! Oh, they're already fighting. Oh, damn. Alright. You look incredible. 80% comfort. Ensure the kind of tourists are visible from a research viewing gallery. Oh, wait. That's why. I'm like, why is he running so fast for? We got the speed freaking turned up. Look at this big chungus. Oofed. This guy looks dope. Has he got a battle wound from finding that other one? Honestly, he looks sick. Let's take a look at his friend. Are they going to fight again? Look at, like, the ridges and everything on him. They look awesome. I don't remember how well the first one looked. It's been a while. Um, but, yeah, like, I don't remember them looking this nice. Maybe it's just been a while. Add a task. Let's get these guys to... Status check. And I don't think we can see... Do we see their comfort yet? No. So, this one's got something wrong with him. But we're sending the ranger team in now. Where are they? Here they are. Let's go. Let's take a look at the binoculars. We go for flare. I kind of want to use the flare for something. Missing prey. Okay. So let's take a look here. What do you need, big fella? Uncomfortable. Cohabitation is fine. Area is a little small, but we just managed to make it. Wow, you can have like a whole... Uh, Squad? I don't know what a, a pack. Is it? A, this guy's just casually drowning himself out here. <laughs> okay, so he needs sand and prey. So let's get on that for him. Sand and prey. So we want to come into terrain here. Carnivore feeder, live prey feeder. We're going to be a little bit terrible here. And we're going to do a live prey feeder. I... I feel like live prey is like really mean to the goats really because like dinosaurs are not going to be affected by this whatsoever. Um, but I mean, we kind of got to do it, right? We've got big ass dinosaurs. I don't know why this one's got the... Are they getting angsty? Are they going to try and break out? Is that what they're doing? Yeah, it is. Look. Oh shit. I don't know how to repair a fence. They're free! They broke free! Oh god, everyone run, uh, hide, run, fly, run. Wait, what is this dude? Where did you come from? Why aren't you part of my park? We've got, we've got, nobody panic. I'm not panicking. We have some rampaging dinos. Let's go. Take off, fellas. Come on, today would be great. Alright, trank him out, trank him out. Knock him, knock him out, knock him out. Oh dude, I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me, Mr. Kano. I need to shoot him. I can't aim to save my life. We have some broken out carnos. Go down, big fella. Sleepy time. Sun's getting real low. Did I hit that one? Nope. Nope. Good thing we have unlimited ammo. It ain't Arky where we need to go back and make some bloody goddamn trank arrows. Okay. They're all asleep. Whew. Alright, so they broke out. I don't know how we repair the gates. It doesn't give me the option to. If we go... I just want to see if I go like that. Yeah, see, it makes me build it around it, which is weird. If we turn and replace on. Is that for just like bigger fences? See, I don't know how we actually repair them. So let's just demolish that and that. And I guess we just rebuild this. What was the other thing we had in there? Feeders. Oh, okay. 
So we've got the live pre-feeder, but I want to know where this dude came from. Where'd he go? It was just a casual, like, herbivore running around. I have no idea where he went, <laughs> but it's funny. All right, let's, uh, let's try and fix this up while they're asleep. So we need some... Actually, you know what? There he is. What is this guy? Can I not see him? Oh, he's having a bit of a nap. He's just like, suck shit, Carnos. I'm on the outside now, mother beepers. All right, let's... You didn't get transported. Okay, so you need some sand. Rock, snow, sand, snow, dirt. Provides a sand texture. Let's crank up the radius here. Okay, hopefully that's enough for them. Let's speed it up here a little bit. They've got live prey feeders. I feel like that's probably enough for them, right? One each. Okay, let's take a look here at your comfort. 70% comfort. Area, it's saying it's too small. Not sure why. Oh no, here we go. It's adjusting. You have a big area, dude. Okay, 80%. He's got enough sand, prey 1 out of 1, open space is 88%. Okay, we could probably increase their open space. I think it's uh, the fact that they've got that, the, the, the area, the field area that they said. I remember reading about it in the first bit. We'll just extend this out here. And then we'll just demolish these. And then what we'll do is we'll go a little bit more sand over. Ooh, that's the wrong one. A little bit more sand over here for him. Okay. I think that's everything. All right, let's go ahead and grab the research viewing gallery, which we're just going to put this here. Which apparently it's in water. Why is it in waterfall? I don't see any water. Do you guys see any water? Building constraints. Oh. Alright. Let's chuck that down. It looks like we've got a bit of a... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm assuming this is going to override the sand that we just put down. But they're still sleeping, so it should be okay, I guess. Alright. Are you good? Yeah, they're missing sand again because of the blizzard. But, I mean... I, have they even woken up yet from being transported? Are they just still having a nap? Like, yeah, it says they're sleeping. Where are we going to our ranger team for? They had dangerous animals here? Correct, Mr. Finch. We know where they were. Oh, okay. We got to go look for a new Mr. dinosaur, Finch, I guess. It's essential that we know where they are. But our allies aren't fully... I'd say they're headed off in this direction. Do you know your dinosaurs, Mr. Grady? Oh, disturbance identified unknown species. Is that it? Do we just keep driving here? So the map's actually a little bit bigger than what we anticipated because, well, I mean, what it showed because we can actually drive out here. Oh, there's something dead over here. What is that? Everything points in this direction. All right, this is a little scary. Not gonna lie. So we got another large carnival. Head over here. I do like being able to drive through this park bit. Like, this is super nice. I hope all the other maps are like that and we can track down dinosaurs and stuff. Alright, we've got another little track here. Wow. Was not expecting that. Dinosaurs, but they're not stuff. Wherever they go, they leave a mark. Sounds like someone I know. Is it Dr. Malcolm? Because that guy, he is out there. <laughs> Look at my poor Jeep. I trashed it. As opposed to... Well, you know, a certain lovable animal. Oh, we got some trikes down here. I saw a triceratops just over there. There it is. There, yeah, it's having a bit of a sleep. I love the trash jeep. <laughs> feel like we are getting close. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, here we go. Is that a Struthiomimus? No, that kind of looks like galley. But it looks like a Struthiomimus as well. I'm not sure. All right, let's keep heading down this way. Surely we should be getting close to whatever it is that's down here. I have no idea what it is. There's another Triceratops there. I love seeing the... Imagine dinosaurs roaming around. How awesome that would be. 
Until you come face to face with a T-Rex and get munched to death. In which case, it's probably not going to be too awesome then, unfortunately, for you. Everyone else, I'm sure they'd enjoy the, the, the show, but mm, not so much. Ready for anything, all right? Oh, we got... Is that a Bronto down there? We got a helicopter up there in the sky. Oh. Is that... What is that? Oh, that is a rock, CJ. The very ex elusive rock. Oh, hello, Mama. Is that an... That's an aloe, I'm pretty sure. Owen. Owen, are you okay? What is happening? A little busy right now. Please tell me you have things under control. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure that's an aloe. Yes. I'm a bundle of raw nerves. We're working the problem. Am I driving here, or what are we doing? Oh, tranquilize. Yeah, it's an aloe. Okay. Alrighty, guys, let's get this aloe knocked out as soon as we can. Nice. Okay. Woo! Owen, what's our status? We're close. We have everything almost under control. But All right, so we gotta injured. make an enclosure for it. Can we? Where can we? Can we build out here? I'll notify Doctor Dua. Oh, me? I'm fine. All right. Well, I mean, we don't really have the biggest space, do we? Do I fence off the Carnos separately from the aloe? What's going on with you, big fella? Requires a status check. I also don't know why that one has that little signal over the top of it. Okay, where's our ranger team at? Let's let's do this. Oh, they're over here. We're going to get them to come back over here and they can do a status check on these guys. And I feel like I should probably try and just split the enclosure in half. I feel like that's probably what we need to do. I mean, I could probably build like a bigger one off the back of it, but. And the herbivores? What about them? As long as they stay away from civilization, leave them in place. They'll survive in the wilderness without our intervention, right? Given time to adapt. Yes, I'd oh. say they will. There we go. I guess that's something we're all going to have to get used to. Having dinosaurs out in the world. Is that you talking, or is that the government? Claire, I am the government. Okay. So they pretty much want to leave. So I wonder if this... I wonder if the movie, the new... Because I know there's the Jurassic World 3 that's coming out. I wonder if the movie is going to follow up with this stuff as well. Like... Not necessarily like the building of the parks and stuff, but leaving the herbivores and everything in the wild. Like, I wonder if they're going to... I don't know. Okay, I feel like, I feel bad. We need to make this enclosure a little bit bigger for the guy. We'll get this to come out here, and then we'll just go across like this. We'll curve it around. Alright, cool. And then, what we can do is we can just demolish these. And then, you know what? I might as well demolish that. And then what we'll do is we'll build this fence, and we'll get this to come out here for him. And then, boom. Cool. And then I can go ahead and just demolish these. And that gives him a little bit more space. Kano's should probably need a little bit more space as well. Okay, they're missing sand. Let's fix that up. Let's do this. And let's go environment. Oh, we've got different rocks there. Snow, sand. There you go, big fellas. All right. Uh, what did I need to do? Have we got a gate? We don't have a gate. So let's get one of those down. Boom, boom. We'll grab a path. I don't know if I actually need to build a path out here. And if anything, what we can do is I will just build a gate over this side. And then... We'll get the path to come out here like that. Okay, cool. All right, let's speed this up a bit. And here comes the big old aloe. I wonder if he's going to try and break through to get to the Carnos. Oh, look at this big dude. Oh, that's terrifying. He's all bloody and everything. Poor little dude. Alright, let's get him looked at. Where's the ranger team? Ranger team? Add task. Let's go. 
He does have a bit of a bigger enclosure by the looks of it, but his health is at 76%. He should start recovering. This guy looks terrifyingly, awesomely amazing. Look at him. He's got a blue tongue. That's dope. I love the look of this guy. He looks sick. All right, the Ranger team should be coming in. I'm excited to see him chase after them. I don't know why the Kano's got that symbol over the top of his head. All right, here comes the Ranger team. Und undiagnosed ailments. Send MVU to perform medical scan. Is he going to chase after him? Come on, big fella. Chase after the Jeep. You know you want to. I'm going to need a paleomedical facility to assess the status of All the right. dinosaur that they're bringing in. We'll what do we need? need? We need some water, scan. we need some prey, and I some more forest. What went wrong if we're going to avoid an event like this in the future. Alright, give him a bit of water here in the middle. There you go. Uh, what else did he need? Live prey feeder. We'll chuck one over there and one there. And then we will also give him... What did he need? Forest, I think. Dirt, snow, sand, snow, rock. Water, here we go. Nature, forest. Forest. Let's just... Oh yeah, that's better. How's that, big fella? Happy with that? Area, he's got enough area, prey, water. Yeah, he's got enough of all of that. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Let's get, what do we need to do? Construction or operational paleomedical facility. Paleomedical facility. Boom, right there. Perfect smack bang right next to our PowerPoint. PowerPoint. You know what I mean. Okay, so he's got 80% comfort. We're going to construct that now. He looks dope. Let's look at this guy. I just love looking at the dinos and just like admiring them. Oh, look at his eyes. He is terrifying. Or she. I don't know what gender it is. It doesn't actually tell us. Okay, uh, so the operational medical facility is up and running. Okay, recruit scientists with a combined welfare skill of three. Let's hire a few scientists. So we need welfare. To diagnose these animals. Do I get rid of these guys? Make sure they are competent with the MVU and can perform medical scans on the dinosaurs. I'm interested to see what we can discover. Uh, I guess we fire this guy. I can't see, dude. I can't. It didn't look like I had another choice. Welfare, welfare. Let's grab Barry. G'day, Barry. How you going, mate? Recruit Barry. All right, Barry, you're all good. Perform a medical scan. So do we have to use this? We should have a better handle on the dinosaur's medical status. Let's... Hopefully we'll be able to figure out what went wrong. Let's direct control this. We're good to drive the ambulance today. Like people. Yeah. Get out of the way, people! Move! Move, move, move! move. Right, right. Uh, I don't know how I feel about these yes. controls for the, the medical... Alright, here we go. Medical scanner, Medicaid, flare. I don't know what the flare would be for. I have missed the op opening massively. Allosaurus, please, whatever you do, do not run out here. Alright, now I feel like I probably shouldn't have built this much forest. Because we are definitely going to get jumped on by this guy. And I can't actually drive. Oh, there he is. Scanning, please. Oh, that. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, he's got a major fracture. Poor guy. Okay, yeah, we've done that already. And then require special treatment and assign scientists to treat the injury while the dinosaur is at the pale melee. Cool. Oh, God. Get out of there, people! You know, you do you. Wait, is it dead? In danger, yeah. <laughs> They're in danger, you need to get out of there. Okay, so we need to tranquilize the aloe. Let's come over here and grab the... Capture team. I don't know why that... I still don't know why that kind of has that symbol over his head. Alright, let's get this guy... Oh, we'll get a little bit closer. I do like his enclosure. Oh, nice. All right, we got him knocked out. Let's get him transferred over. Now that we have control of the dinosaur temporarily, 
Let's get it transported to the paleo medical facility. I want to put him with the Carnas and have him fight. Is that bad of me? Probably. All right. Let's put him over there, and we want to have you treat him. Looks like these guys are going to fight. What's going on over here? You sitting like a duck, mate. Oh, hold on. Are you... Oh, he's going for the sheep. Oh, damn. The poor goat. Oh, oh my god. Okay, he didn't even chew that. That was... That was dope and terrifying at the same time. Hold on. His friend's going for the other one. These animations... <laughs> he's doing a bit of a moonwalk there. These animations are awesome. Ready? He just fucking headbutts it. Okay, I guess it, may, I mean, it makes sense with their with their head structure the way it is. But that was that was awesome. Okay, I need to fix these guys up. Let's. I want to take a look at the aloe. Is he out here? Transport the aloe into the paleo medical facility. Oh, he's coming now. Does he get hurled by these clamps or something? All right, hold on. Before we do that, we need to fix this up for these guys. I will come back and look at that. Let's go sand here. Oh, it looks like they're fine. It'll just melt by the looks of it. All right, let's take a look at this. I want to see if it gets grabbed. Or, like, what happens here. <laughs> I think it just broke its neck. Like, guys, do we want to... Do we want to take a look at this? Are they just... What are they spraying him with? <laughs> the boiler, look at his head. Uh, I was fully expecting an actual scientist to come out and clamp, like, operate on him, not just hose him down with some spray stuff. You might want to fix his head, though, like... <laughs> I feel like that's not in a good way. Does it give us an overview? Oh, okay, so it tells us there the time. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad for it. It's, just, it's not even getting treated on. What is it getting sprayed with, nanites? Like... Hello? You might want to heal your dude. Actually fix him. Alright, treatment's completed. Press tab to view. Part of the healing process is to get some rest. Preferably someplace comfortable. Alright, so let's transport him. Same for the dinosaurs, I'd imagine. You imagine correctly. Can I not transport him? Hmm. Yes, moving on then. All right, well, he's already got 80% uh, thingamajiggy, so let's just get one of these viewing galleries down. One of these, and one of those, and pathway, and boom, boom. What's going on over here, fellas? You guys all right? You just having a bit of a munch? Is he dropping a turd? Is your mate dropping a turd? That is definitely... Oh, no, he's just having a sit. <laughs> oh, that sit was so funny. All right. Allosaurus is all done, and it looks like we've completed Washington. Oh, man, that car, no. All right, cool. Washington State is complete. So we're going to move on to the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.